So what's going to be the main 3D content driver for these 3D televisions? We're going to have sports, uh, concerts and special events. We also have Blu-ray, the new 1.4 uh, Blu-ray delivery mechanism is going to take stereo content to your new 3D televisions. And then we've got computer games such as PlayStation 3, Xbox and the Wii games are all creating titles for 3D. And then we've got the new 3D broadcast channels which are coming to market. So the broadcasters themselves are completely committed in 2010 to bring us content. Sky 3D uh, launched their 3D channel recently and also ESPN and the Sports Channel will be up and live. IMAX Corporation, Discovery Channel, Sony Corporation along with um, other complex 3D networks are all going to be putting together material and broadcasting it to the home. So the broadcasters are absolutely committed. So the important thing to think about is if this would work again, this point, where will all this 3D content from, come from? Who is going to create it? We have, if you go around the production show, you'll see new 3D um, rigs. If you go over to the Panavision um, stand, you'll see the new rigs there. Ignition have their rigs here as well. So the manufacturers are creating rigs which will go out and film content. Another form of stereo 3D comes from CGI animation. So CGI packages like Maya or Max can create two streams, left eye, right eye content. That will also be a driver for 3D. And also we have existing 2D material which could be converged and converted into 3D material. And probably a mix of all the combination of all these formats from live action shooting to CGI, 3D and also 2D converted to 3D will all form a part of the new content that will be driven in these new 3D TVs in the home.